So guys, I will put all those files on my Galaxy S3 device. So they are located on my desktop. So this is uh, the basic files, two files that has been downloaded. So we'll put them here. So one of them is called Open Gaps. This is the full name. And another one, this is the, the version of uh, Cyanogen Mod 14.1, which is Android 7.1.1. And this is a nightly type. So these two files you have to put into your Galaxy S3 device. So in this case, uh, just you will have to have also a cable, USB cable. Then that's okay. I just joined it. it should even shows that it's charging. And also we have some. We have uh, USB debugging connected. Okay, so. Uh, Let's get to okay, it doesn't show. Oh. Also make sure guys that you downloaded the latest Samsung. You have the latest Samsung uh, drivers and you can see that this device is been connected now um, you also make sure that you click on the Android system and then transfer make sure that you click on transfer files and then you will be able to see your so if you are going to download the first thing that you have to do to download CM S4 just type like this or no S3 also have Galaxy S4, but in this case Galaxy S3 and go to Cyanogen Downloads. And then you have to download Cyanogen Mod Build Nightly. Type should be selected as Nightly. So in this case, this is this is what you have to download. Make sure that you do, do not download on your MacBook because um, you have to download it because if you do that so it will be uh, like saved like this not zipped file but just a folder with other so make sure that you download that on your uh, Windows version so I will go to Parallels Desktop and she will show you but anyway this is the website where you will have to download uh, Cyanogen Mod and also Guys, as I told you before, so Google Apps should be um, so just type in G A W P S, then followed by clicking on this website. So open gaps, yeah, this one. Uh, wow, <laughs> it's beautiful now. Show song. So this is correct. This is correct, the latest 7.1, one. but then do not, I installed the stock version, uh, just a second, uh, full version, full version, just, yes, I installed full version, but I really do not recommend even installing full version, just try a mini version, which is much less, it takes much less space, or even my, my micro, but uh, just I recommend mini or in worst case micro so that your device will work fluently and then you just click on this so it will be automatically downloaded so I will just cancel that and uh, on so guys you have to do it on your Windows so I just switch to my Windows and here just type in so I showed you previously where you have to to download that and um, so then what you have to do you will have to wow update download and successful and the verification failed wow that's for the first time for me 
But anyway, do not worry, it should be, if you just click once again, it will be downloaded once again. And what you have to do, you have to go into recovery mode, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, of course I want to show you some more features about this phone, but nonetheless. So, you can see that the phone is being restarted. And I get in team win recovery mode so I can wipe I can install backup I can do whatever I want so in this case first you will have to do you will have to wipe everything so make sure that you get into this screen and then swipe to factory set and you will have to swipe it but in my case I don't want to do nothing so I will show you how to install Cyanogen mod 14 which is uh, Android 7.1.1 so uh, get into your files folder and this is where I put my files and then you click on the this one and you will have to add more zips and just click on open Google Apps and this is a full version you see the full version and then you just swipe to confirm flash so you just click you just swipe it but in my case I do not need to do nothing because my system is working perfectly so I'll just reboot and we'll show you how how the booting looks like with the latest Android system on your Galaxy S3 device. So just wait a little bit to put puts up. Of course, guys, first time it can take up to a few minutes. And uh, do not worry. Even um, in my case, even few times this didn't work I don't know what happened so it was just I was stuck at Samsung logo but I was just I put few times um, USB cable so into my device and I also installed ADB software drivers so um, these drivers uh, you can see that it's already boot up so this driver solved me this problem when I was uh, installing them so just uh, without any long see that it's changed and now you can get into device go to those files that I put in one of the folders and you can see one and two. These are two main files that you have to put. So make sure that these files are here. Also, well, so second thing, when you put them, just go into recovery mode. So there are many ways to get into recovery mode, even with the help with the PC and also with the clicking uh, volume down. When you turn off your device, so you turn uh, you put you click on volume down a uh, home button and a power button but in my case these buttons doesn't work I don't know what happened but it, it happened not with this system but with the other system so you can see that they do not the, the device doesn't react at all so in my case I will have to they fully reset the device so you go to draw it and then you go to second I think it's in different here it is so back at so I will 1.1 and I will show you so you can see it's 
works really well, it's really fluent. You can see some emails and whatever. Uh, also, we can see the login. This is how the device looks like. The main menu and also it's like a shortcut version and then you can just split it more. Also, um, and this is a shortcut to some features. Also, you can edit that, put more features. So drag to add titles. So profile GPU retention, nearby Google Play services and many many more things so let's put it here also wow inverted colors really interesting feature so we can put many many more also cast and uh, other things so data saver hotspot okay and so this is how we end and we can see that it's been added to the second page so here's like the thing like cast then inverted colors wow looks pretty cool so also you can see let's work really fluently and let's go to settings and i will show you that this is Android 7.1.1 and see I'm going to mod updates and also I just received one update okay just so this is the available update and we can install it in this case I think it's not already uh, yeah it will be downloaded first so then we'll be able to install that and I will show you how it's been do how it's been done. So we can see Android 7.1.1. So mm, great. Okay, let's go back. And this is Sangan Mod December version. Android security patch level, which is December. 2016 and uh, what I can tell about this device it's so of course I've, I've installed a uh, Google Apps uh, stock version so this is uh, like it has really a lot of applications and uh, among them you can see all Google applications then um, some documents play and also when we get here so you can see a fit file manager hangouts maps and of other applications terminal i installed myself this is in case i want to go to recovery mode or, or any other things uh, so you can also see how device is working. It also has a Skype version. So like oh, I want a day. So it works really well. Okay. So let's type a very very strong word like um, Tesla. Yeah, it works. It works fluently like Tesla's. Okay and. Uh, now uh, I can tell you that device with a stock version is a little bit too heavy for Galaxy S3 because I think that other I need to update to newer version which will be downloaded really soon and you can see that the speed is quite okay anyway it's not the, the top speed because um, I've been using many other things for that so we can see that if you swipe left or right there are other options like show notifications block notifications and other options also um, the device has really a lot of stuff and like um, let's go back to okay let's go again to settings and then there is very interesting setup 
another email account set screen lock Wi-Fi Bluetooth everything should be working really well so guess we have turned Bluetooth Wi-Fi is working well Auto brightness notifications sounds users sounds owner buttons well what do we have here might be very interesting so we can see yes definitely this device has delay this is because of course um, it's not on heavy usage now but I can assure you that the stock Google Apps is too heavy so uh, I better recommend you to download uh, lower versions and I will show